this is probably not a time for anyone to start singing there's got to be a morning after but this is probably a really really great time to discuss dreams because a lot of people are probably thinking the world is ending their dreams are ending, etc, etc. And I'm sitting like this and really far back from my camera for a reason. And that reason is I apparently did something in my sleep last night that left me looking like I am trying dark reddish purple right around here-ish. It hurts like the dickens, let me tell you. Um, but other than mascara I'm not actually wearing anything and actually I just washed that off so because I fell asleep with my makeup on oh yeah um so it actually looked worse than it is um and I did that because I dozed off I was exhausted from fear and from having a bit of a panic attack at the way the world is working right at this moment or how the world isn't working at this very moment and as a result kind of smacked myself around in my sleep I guess and I have an old bad habit of uh, tapping my fist against my head when I'm extremely stressed and yeah it it's not great, especially when, you know, you have a brain disorder and one caused by an injury. And also, uh, I'd like to take this moment to apologize to anyone who I have been on a camping trip with or just in general, uh, romantic partners. I've had a few. For if I've ever accident, if I've ever had a nightmare and have bonked you, I apologize wholeheartedly. I know the pain. Um, also, camping trips. Uh, I don't apologize to one person because I'm also a bit of a kicker, but I think you deserved it. Anyway, um, so basically. I have what looks like perpetual eye eyeliner on, which reddish purple will never take off. <laughs> All right, so sorry for the squeak. I have a squeaky mattress and it drives me bonkers. Um, anyway, dreams and what can you do, uh, I suppose, to calm yourself down for a night so that you don't run the risk of being like me. I so your answer is as good as mine, but I'm happy to take a good look and check that out. Um, just know that you're loved. Uh, but if you do find that you accidentally injured yourself, um, it's okay to wear it with pride and just say, yeah, I'm having a bit of a wonky time, but I survived. I'm a fighter. I'll get through this. Uh, I was achieving my boxing dreams in my sleep because everyone, apparently, I've always wanted to be a boxer. I did do some, but, you know, not at the level that apparently I'm really good at in my sleep. I wish I were that good when I'm awake, uh, it, it would probably get a lot of stress off if I had, I don't know, the capability to get to a gym and a punching bag and just have at it. Don't tuck your thumbs in. So anyway, so what can you do to help with bad dreams? Well, think those are kind of normal nowadays. Uh, we kind of have been living in an eternal bad dream, no matter what religious or political affiliation that you have. Uh, 
there seems to be a permanent bad dream. <clears throat> There's a lot of violence. People are eating each other. Uh, you know, you can't do, you really can't do anything without someone saying, oh, well, you're doing wrong or you're doing this or you're and just hungry, hungry, hippoing each other. So we are all marbles, ladies and gentlemen, but we can be beautiful marbles. What I guess I'm saying is I would definitely suggest taking time before bed, turn off the news, uh, read something that makes you smile, that makes you laugh, stay out of medical books before bed. Uh, don't, nothing scary. Don't watch, ter don't watch terrifying movies. Cut down your caffeine maybe a few hours before bed and switch to water or milk. Milk is sort of a nightly ritual in my household. I have a glass of milk. I might even have, say, a homemade baked good, depending on my mood. I do love making cookies now that I can. Um, I'm still mostly keto, but here and there I enjoy adding in, say for a holiday or because I can, because I'm an adult, making some cookies. But for the most part, it's meat and veg. But anyway, uh, watch what you're eating. Watch what your intake is. Make sure that you're not going to bed feeling furious. Uh, don't let the day's events smack you around or you may find that you smack yourself around. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> this is my mileage. And talk with someone that you find calming or that you love, someone who isn't constantly finding some way to get angry at something. Uh, uh, because then you're trying to finish arguments in your own head or you're trying to clarify and ending up with the genius at the staircase thing where you finally finally get in a word edgewise but it's to yourself and now you're furious because you were unable to actually say this because the other person either didn't they'd ask you a question this is one of my pet hates they'd ask you a question you'd start answering and then they get offended by something or get angry because of what they thought you said or just didn't let you answer the question at all. Um, that's not cool, by the way. And uh, love yourself, even if you've had an imperfect time. And if you bruise easily, may I suggest, maybe wear some mittens. Anyway, you are loved dearly. I hope that everyone's okay. I know it's crazy. I know it's insane. I've gotten my voice under control at last. Um, but you are loved and there is still so much beauty in this world. So take a good look at that. Take a really, really great look. Uh, oh, and uh, do, a, do yourself a favor. I have, I'm gonna pop some music along with some book links in the description. The music is not a paid link, the books are, but they're books that I've read that I enjoy and would like to pass on to someone else and say, here, here's some fun reading. Here's some interesting reading. Here's something that... And also, um, you may congratulate me. I am now being sponsored by a personalized potato company. Yes, and this is great. Uh, so I'm going to be sending out some fascinating cards this year. Uh, I have I have messages all all set for personalized baked potatoes. So get ready. Uh, you're the only spud for me. All right. So 
you are loved and take really, really good care of yourselves and uh, check out, sorry, uh, my medication timer went off. So it's time to take my meds. And so I'm going to turn it off so it, but anyway, yeah, I am being sponsored by a company called Potato Parcel. They, they're they fantastic. It looks like a fun gift and I can't wait to send out my own personalized, I love you potatoes. You're the only spud for me. Right, love you to bits and take really, really good care and check out Potato Parcel and the books that I'm using. Love you.